What's going on guys? Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I made over a thousand pound just over the Easter period just using my scroll saw. So if this is something that interests you and you want to make some money using your scroll saw then stick around. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on what I use and how I made that money over the Easter period. One of the big things that I make over the Easter period every single year, I've done this for the past six years now, are uh, these cream egg bunnies. Uh, all they do is they hold a cream egg in the middle and they're nice and easy, quick to make, take two or three minutes to make one. You can engrave a name over there. So I made this template to go on the laser and basically I just sit this into the laser with this corner which I've marked as zero zero in the top corner and the bunnies when I can figure this out upside down. Uh, they just sit on the top. I focus the laser into the right place and then that just gets the name put on there. It takes me about 30 seconds to put a name on each one. One of the other things that I did this year was these boxes. This one's not assembled and obviously this is the same shape as my bunny. Uh, so these come in four different parts. You've got the back, you have the middle, you have the perspex front and then you have the border on the front. And basically what you do with these is you just drop these mini eggs and they just drop on the inside there once it's all assembled. And you can just fill them up with as many as you want. And uh, I sold quite a few of these this year with different shapes as well. I didn't get any footage of me making these because it was just so busy over the period. I did get footage of me making the cream egg bunnies, so I'm gonna talk you through the process of how I make these. Just as an idea of how busy I was, I made this little telegraph of how many different shapes of what I needed, and at the time that I did this, I'd already made quite a few more, and I was getting a little bit confused on how many I had on order. So doing something like this keeps things on track for you, and also I use these order sheets. It just got the custom name, where they put the order in, what the order is, the price, uh, whether or not I need to send it. So then I can just quickly look at this, see how many I need. I can then go back into the message if I need to and check the details, whether or not they've paid, whether I need to send it or I'm getting it delivered. And uh, it's just quickly and easily tracked with those. I'll talk about the scroll saw and the pricing for the cream egg bunnies in the video of making these in a moment. What I use, the blades I use, the scroll saw I use, the materials I use, bits and pieces like that. I have it all jotted down over near my PC. So I'm going to get my cuppa, I'm going to roll with some PC, we're going to sit down, I'm going to do a voiceover of how to make the cream egg bunnies and the process I go through with that and hopefully you can take some inspiration from this and you can earn some money using your scroll saw over the Christmas period, over Easter next year, and uh, yeah, we can all be happy scrollers together. So let's get over to the PC and we'll get that started. Okay guys, so some of the things we need are a pair of scissors to cut the design out that you're gonna be making. We're gonna need some spray glue to attach the design to the board after we use the masking tape to cover the board so that it's not an absolute pain in the backside to take the design off and then we need the design i am perfecting this design uh, i had to redo it this easter because my pc just lost absolutely everything and i had to scan a template that i already had made up uh, from last year i had to scan that into my pc and then export it to be able to actually make them this year uh, I hadn't realized I'd lost it until I had them all on order and since then I have redone the design to be much more professional and uh, clearer. But this did me pretty well for this year. The board I'm using is an 8x1 pine board and I buy this in 2.4 meter lengths which is 8 foot. Uh, it cost me £7.50 thereabouts for the 8 foot board and I can fit 19 of these bunnies on there. Now those 19 bunnies, um, I either sell them at £3 each with the names on which gives me £57 for the whole board or I sell them at £2 each without the names on which gives me £38 for the board. So if we take that as minimum profit, we're still making £30 plus for each board and 
the 19 I can cut out in about an hour and a half. So that's pretty decent profit and for the past couple of years I haven't actually advertised these for sale. People have come to me asking do I have them for sale and can they buy them. So what I generally do is I mask off the whole board and then I glue these down in these sets of three. Uh, I cut it across the middle of the set of three so it's easier to handle on the scroll saw. I always throw a little bit of scrap cardboard underneath. Uh, as you can see, I didn't do this previously and my worktop is absolutely a mess. It's a sacrificial workshop anyway, so it would get a mess uh, over time. But uh, I just put a light coat of the spray adhesive on there and let it dry for a couple of seconds and then I attach the design. Uh, making sure not to go over the edges and that the design is actually in the middle of the boards. Try and pay attention to any knots or holes in the boards because that will ruin your profit because you're not going to want to have uh, a hole in the middle of one of the items that you're trying to sell. Some knots are okay, it just adds to the character design and people seem to like them anyway. Once you've got your design laid out on the board and they're all stuck together uh, I just used my scroll saw to trim down the center of the board in between the designs, cutting them into threes. As you see on here, at the end I had an extra two because this wasn't a full length of 8b1. After that we just head over to the drill press and I drill the holes for both the eye and the egg holder part. I cut out the eye rather than drilling it out because it leaves a much cleaner finish rather than having the drill bit bore out the hole then you end up with fuzzy finish on the top and on the bottom even using the sacrificial board on the back. Uh, I just find it's a much much cleaner cut just to cut the eye out and it only takes a few more seconds anyway so it's not that much of an issue. Okay so it's now time to start cutting out these bunnies. I'm going to leave this running in real time for a moment while I talk about the scroll saw that I use and the blades that I use and uh, you can get a feel of how quickly you can cut these bunnies out. The scroll saw that I use is now five years old. Uh, the only parts I've had to replace on this is the top and the bottom blade clamps. Uh, over time these just uh, spread open and just stop holding the blades. But like I say five years and only replacing the top and bottom blade holders and it cost me around £19 to get those parts. It's been a really good investment. The saw itself is the Axminster Trade EX21 which is now the Axminster Trade AT535SS. So it's a 535mm throat which is 21 inches. This is equivalent to the Pegasus 21 inch scroll saw that you can get on places like Bearwoods. You cannot actually buy this in the UK at the moment, you've got to order it on back order so you've got to pay for it and it takes around 12 weeks before they will send one out to you. I got quite lucky, um, I was waiting a couple of months uh, doing my research and deciding which scroll saw I wanted to get and these were just about to be released under the new Axminster Trade name rather than the Excalibur EX21 which is what they used to be called. The blades that I'm using are Pegasus modified geometry blades. These are a number 5 blade and these cut like an absolute dream in these. I've used these for pretty much everything. Uh, all the 18mm MDF that I was using for the bunny letters and the kinder egg letter holders that I was making for crafters to paint up. I used it for those, I used the same blade for the fillables and I stack cut all of those which is a 25mm piece of MDF, two pieces of 4mm MDF and one piece of 2mm clear acrylic and it cuts through that really really well. It takes a little while to get them done compared to things like this, but it does cut really, really well. So I'm going to continue letting this run for real time, and you can see 
just how long it takes for me to cut out three of these bunnies uh, roughly works out about three or four minutes each and it's super super quick and you can just batch out these all day nice and easy cut nice and fun to cut so I'll throw some music on and you can just enjoy this process for a moment and I will speed up the whole process after this one gets finished So that whole process took a little over 10 minutes to get the three done and like I say that's just over three minutes for each one um, and then it just is peeling off the design if you can remember which way around you put the masking tape on that makes it much much easier to figure out which way you need to peel this off so I just peel all of these off and then give everything a light sand with 120 grit sandpaper and that's it, that's the whole process of these bunnies done. I think I got these 8, 9 because I found an extra little piece of wood on the side that I could use and I got an extra one made so I got 9 done and it took me just over half an hour to make 9 of these in total from putting the design on, to cutting them out and sanding them and being absolutely finished with them. So I hope this video helps somebody out there find some joy and make a little bit of money using your scroll saw. Uh, this scroll saw paid for itself almost immediately by doing these kinds of designs and like I say I made around a thousand pound just making all the bits and pieces over the Easter period that I made this year so thanks for watching guys I hope it helps somebody out if, if any of this advice did help you out please give the video a thumbs up if you're new please consider subscribing because I'm posting videos like this fairly often when I get a little bit of time which isn't all the time admittedly but I am trying to get there so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video